So hi, welcome to Boggy Box Craft. I'm very shiny today because today I'm going to be creating my Poison Ivy inspired makeup look to go with my Poison Ivy costume. Also, you should subscribe if you then want to see how I created the headpiece, the batarang, and how I created the dress for my Poison Ivy inspired look. If you do hear any snoring or wheezing or whistling noises in the background of this video, it's the dogs. They don't care. I hope you don't either. I only care when I go to edit my videos and I hear the wheels in the background. But they're chilling and I'm doing some makeup. I'm going to start with the little eye pieces. I'm going to do the other one on camera and show you how I did it. This is one I've already done. It's from the left side of my eye. That's pretty much how the placement's going to be. From the lights I used for my headpiece, I had this sort of, I've used the little side pieces of plastic and just cut out, I don't know if you guys can see that, I've just cut out two little like long rectangles, eight to ten centimetres long. So what I'm going to do is put them into sort of a V shape. I'm trying to have the best way to show you this. So I want to kind of sit more, that's our idea. And then I'm just going to glue that little two bits together. I don't even know if you can see them. So I'm going to line, up, line it up with my other one. I'm going to try and keep them in place. Just pop a little bit of glue under there and then hope I've popped it in the right place. Now we've got our template to build upon. I'm going to work on the back first. So I've got these little leaves that I've cut off as our plastic leaf vine thing. I've got four of these that I'm just going to stick on on the very edges. Tiny blob of glue in the end. Just stick them into place. So we want the four stuck down like that. Make sure they're definitely in the right place. And just redoing this at the back, and then we'll take four more leaves because we want to hide some of this, just to hide those little stalks and stems. A little blob of glue on the back of your ivy leaf. Stick it on to the back of your plastic base. Your creation should look something like this. This is this has been a bit you near know, close my eyebrow, and this is going to be near my bottom lash. Take some more of these leaves. Three more leaves. I'm just going to start hiding some of this glue as best we can. So a little bit of glue, pop it on there. I've had these skeleton leaf things for quite some time, although they wasn't they weren't right colour. I had them in sort of a pink and purple. So all I did was take a little bit of paint and water it down and brush over the leaves so they just did a bit more reddy green colours. And a bluey green one going in first. I might just trim that little edge just so it looks a little bit nicer. And then a ready coloured leaf, yellow leaf on top, or yellowy orangey coloured leaf on top. Place your leaves into a pattern that you're going to enjoy. Just glue these guys into place. Tiny, tiny little bit of glue on the back of your leaf. Pop that down where you'd like it. Be very careful if you're using these skeleton leaves. All the leaves are stuck down in place. Get rid of any excess, you know, spider glue. I also find these little packs of gems in Hobbycraft. I got three different sizes of gems from, I think this was from Hobbycraft. They were only like a pound. I think they were a pound each. Get yourself a pair of tweezers to pick up. These are, um, these are sticky backed gems, but I don't trust that that's enough. Just a little blob of glue on the back and then place that gem where you want it to be. So just carry on sticking on your gems. Pick up your gem with your tweezers. Do try and use an old pair of tweezers. A little blob glue on the back of the gem and then just stick that in place where you want your gem. Also pick out any rogue glue from the glue gun. Keep sticking on until you've got something that looks like that. Finished both eyes. This is the vine leaves I've used. These are from Hobbycraft. And I've just cut off a whole load of them to use on my eye pieces. So we'll set these aside for the moment. So now we've got the eye pieces made, I'm going to do my makeup. But I'm going to start off with the eyes. Let's do my first eye off camera. We'll recreate it on this eye and I'll show you how I did it. I know it looks a bit scrappy at the moment, but it'll all come together. First up, I'm going to use Milani Concealer Plus Perfect. 115 light nude and I'm just going to smear that all over my eyelid, down my cheek a bit, all over the eye area. I'm taking a little sponge thing, just 
pounce that into the skin. So this will just act as an eyeshadow primer. And my base for all my eyeshadow to go on top of. Whap all that everywhere. I'm going to be using two palettes. Jeffree Star Jawbreaker, which looks like this. ENY Bright Palette by Beauty Bay. That's what he looks like. Both of these palettes are cruelty free and vegan. I got both of these on Beauty Bay. Can't remember the prices. But I'm gonna start with this red colour up here, Licorice, from the Jeffree Star palette. Into my crease and right across the crease area. And we're gonna build this up so you don't have to be too neat. And I have no idea where half my brushes are from. Sorry about that. Once we've got a good coating of red in there, bring that down into my under eye slightly. Once we've got that lovely red rimmed eye look. Grab another clean brush. But I know it's a bit messy, don't judge me. I'm just gonna go into this black shade Illicit. I'm just gonna put that above the crease and right into my eyebrow and blend all that in. Take that down onto the nose just ever so slightly into the eyebrow. That'll save me doing my eyebrows later. Just bring it up like you're doing a massive cat eyeliner. Just smudge it up there a little bit into a little bit of a point. And I'm just pressing this on rather than moving everything around too much. Blend in the edges slightly. Bringing that down just slightly down here. Oh, just add a little bit in there. To blend the two colours a little bit, I'm going to use Jeffree Star Shimmery Red here and what? Lovely shade name. And I'm just going to blend the two of those colours together. Going back to the bright palette, I'm going to go in with this sort of greeny colour over here called Oasis. Put that into the eyebrow. We're going to smudge that into where I put the black. Really pat it on over here. Not too worried about up here at the moment because we're going to go back in and blend that a little bit more. And just take it down a little bit into the black here. The corner for your under eye. That makes sense. Smudge it into your hairline if need be. I'm going to go in with Sewer, this sort of light greeny colour. Smudge that into the last other green we've applied, Oasis. Bring it up the forehead a little bit. Like a really bad contour. Smudge that brow in. And then a little bit under here. Move that down a little bit. So we're going to go in with this shimmery lime green here. It's called Frosted Lime. And I'm just going to place that right on the edges of that green colour sewer. Just kind of stippling motion, I guess. And we're looking even. As even as we're going to get. It's going to do a little bit of work on this under eye here. So we're going to go in with this orange colour here called Suck. Again, I'm just going to pat it on. Connect all that up there. Put a little bit extra there, I think. And then get yourself another clean brush. And we're going to go in this really bright yellow here called Whoa. And I'm just going to dab that into the orange underneath. It. I'm just going to dab that under there. Using the same brush, I'm going to go into Jawbreaker. It's like sparkly. I'll swatch it for you guys. You like a goldy, whitey shimmer. Love this colour. We're just going to pop that right in our corner. Blend, blend, blend. Blend that up into the black a little bit, maybe. So just going to blend that into the inner corners. Back into and what? Soften this edges around here. Pop a bit more up there. Got my concealer again, so I'm just going to cut this crease ever so slightly. Same concealer. I'm not too worried about this being perfect. I just want... I only want it to be a little bit sticky so I can pop some glitter on. I wouldn't recommend using this on your eyes, but I'm going to because I can. Just take the same brush that I used concealer in. It's just a little red glitter. I'm going to pop that into the middle area, middle of my eye there. Try and can get that as a stick. That would be tremendous without it falling everywhere. I'm going to go straight in with my gold glitter. Same brush, mix the glitters, it's all good. And then just press that into the eye as it falls all over my face. It Excellent. Press a whole lot more in there. Why not? Quickly put your lid back on your glitter. Because if you spill glitter, you're gonna have to leave your house. It'll probably still follow you forever. Just gonna take a little fan brush and try and get rid of as much glitter as possible. Look at how my eyes are looking at the moment. Bit of setting spray. I've already done like moisturise and prepped my skin and everything. For my foundation, I've got the Ordinary High Coverage apparently in the shade 1.2 Neutral, Light Natural. This is definitely the lightest foundation I have. Oh yes, that's light. Excellent. Buff that into the skin. Not going to go too far down my neck yet until I do my FX makeup effects. Get my sponge and just bounce that into the skin. All up his ear. Excellent. Because you want your ears to match. Same concealer. Just going to go in with little pieces where I think you need it. 
I don't think it's really going to matter because there's going to be a whole lot more makeup going on my face. I bite that onto the skin. Now to set all that, Jeffree Star Loose Setting Powder in the colour Fair. Press that all over my skin. This stuff smells bloody amazing. Cotton candy or something. It smells lush anyway. Once you've got that all over your face, you're set. Brush off the excess. Line my inner waterline now. Black eyeliner pencil by Barry M. Just pop it into your waterline. On your top lid as well. Oh, without making your eyes water really badly. So for better contour, I'm gonna go in this colour down here called Tasty. So I think we should go all out for contour. These shades of Jeffreys are so pigmented. A slightly deathly look. Darken that hairline. Maybe up into the hairline ever so slightly. Into that green. A little bit on the nose. Tiny bit of blush, why not? Is it dangerous to use some of these for blush? Probably. I wonder if I could just use a little bit of this cherry wet, this pink one here. Oh, it's quite strong. Does that even work? I think we'll have to go back in and just soften all that. We need a full on highlight moment. A Revolution palette. That's what it looks like. These don't have names. Let's try it. A little bit of highlight. I think it'll work really nicely. I do kind of want this to be a nice makeup look. I know it doesn't look like that right now. Get a tiny little bit of this licorice red colour again and just work work some like tears coming down. Just little lines basically coming from the eyes. See I'm gonna pop on some eyeliner, eyelashes and mascara and be right back. Just pop them some eyeliner. It's just nice big winged eyes. Let's get lashes on. Pop my lashes and everything on. Now for the fun bits. Right in that crease. Got the little neck crease. That'll be my nice guideline. Right across here. I want my batarang to look like it's kind of sliced through my throat. And that's how Batman has killed Poison Ivy in my interpretation of Poison Ivy. Oh, it's right goopy. Do I have a brush that I don't care about? Do I care about this one? Not really. <gasps> oh, don't do that. Oh my word, that's way runnier than I thought it was going to be. Got my hideous little bottle of latex here. Just put a little bit onto my brush. Paint that across my neck. I'm mean, winning a few coats of this. Painting on her latex right across my neck. So I'll just leave that to dry. Destroy a brush at the same time, why not? While that's happening, take my little eye pieces. I'm just gonna use like eyelash glue for this. On the back of the eye mask, I'm just gonna put little blobs of glue. I mean, you could use spirit gum for this, but I really want to reuse this again on actual Halloween's night. This is basically my test run. So a good amount of glue blobbed on there. Oh, that's drying quite fast actually. Another layer of latex on there. Wait for that to dry. Well, I'll wait for the glue to go tacky to stick on my eyepieces. I think the latex is finally dry. I'm just going to take an, an orange stick. What are these things called? And I'm just going to gently break through some of the latex. I'm just going to tour my latex. I'm just going to quickly double check everything matches up. So I think I just need a little more of a tear here. gonna take a wee tiny brush, a little bit of setting powder, powder all that latex so it doesn't stick together. I just like to do this because I think it helps. Just makes everything a little bit more comfortable. Over top of that I'm gonna go back in with my foundation, stipple that all on and just take that all the way down. And then with more setting powder I'm going to go over the top of that again. I'm gonna go in again with this tasty colour and I'm just gonna poke that into this wound I guess just to give everything a little bit of depth when we put the blood in you don't have to be too neat with this and over the top of that I'm gonna go back in with this licorice shade and I'm just gonna dot that all over don't want to be too neat with that go back to the tasty shade kind of have a soft brush stipple that around the edges just give everything a little bit more depth so again tasty shade Oh, I think I keep picking up the shade next to because this brush is so big. So apparently we've got a little bit of cherry wet in there as well. I just shade up these bits. A little bit of shading up there. Try and stick these on now, this should be fun. 
So I'm trying to do it in line with, try and keep it in line with that little V there, that cat eye. And see if we get this to stick. I'll oh, try and do the other side. Hold on to my eyepieces until they're fully stuck to my face. Right, they were a bit of a bugger to get on. Next time, instead of using eyelash glue, because this is just a trial run for me for the real Halloween, I'll be sticking them on on Halloween with spirit gum. For lipstick, it's a Jeffree Star Red Rum for my lips. I do love a matte liquid lip. Most perfect red lip for this look. It's got some scab blood by S S Smiffies. Is that who the spy Smiffies? Very congealed. So you see it. All in here. Underneath all the latex. All around the inside. So my scab blood is in there. Lovely. Angels. Angel's blood apparently. This up here. I've got this tiny little sponge that's like textures and holes through it. Dump that in there. Just kind of use that. It's a bit of a blood spatter around the edges. Tapping it on. Because it comes with a nozzle. I am just going to run that along and just let it drip down. I have to lean back to do this. There's that little sponge gone. I'm going to try and get the same effect for my eyes a little bit, but I'm just going to use my brush for that. I don't think you're supposed to really go that close to your eye. There's little red lines that I put down before. I'm just going to follow them. Open to interpretation. That's the trick, isn't it? don't know if I'd recommend putting this uh, so close to your eyes, but we're going to. Just really make sure you don't put it in your eyes. And I think we're done. I'm going to go put on the rest of the costume and let you see how it all looks together. Probably seen enough of that, haven't we? I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I created this makeup look and this eye look as well, or the little eye pieces. If you want to see how I create the rest of this look, the headpiece, the batarang, and the dress to go with my eye and makeup look, I'll put a link in the description below. Alternatively, you can subscribe and you'll hopefully be notified when I upload anything ever again. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial crafting session on my interpretation of Poison Ivy with a Batman Batarang through the neck. I'll be honest, but I'll definitely be using a different blood next time because this blood is definitely dried. I don't know if you can see that there. <laughs> and it's really tight on my skin. So it's a little bit uncomfortable. So I'll definitely be using a different type of blood, well, fake blood next time. I hope you've enjoyed this. Do feel free to share this video with anyone you think might, might find it educational or useful or helpful especially in Halloween or any fancy dress event. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. I think it's time to go and take this all off. This is terrible. Oh, this is awful, isn't it? Oh, that does feel so much more comfortable though. Oh, that's horrible. Oh my goodness, this is actually all sticking to me. Oh, this is wretched. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.